As a successful investment banker, Ritin Ramlal had a finger on the pulse of the global market, but he also realized that his professional destiny was largely at the mercy of decision makers on the other side of the world. He opted to leave the corporate environment and create his own homegrown future. It hasn't always been an easy path, but it's a journey he's happy to be making, as he explained to Michelle. Ritin and his family enjoy the outdoors, and Michelle had to make an early start to reach the rendezvous. Many people dream of owning their own successful business, but few seldom follow through, as risk-taking is almost synonymous with entrepreneurship. To start and support your own enterprise, you'll have to put your career, personal finance, and even your mental health at stake. Fully aware of all of these challenges, Ritain Ramlal embraced it and turned his love of coffee into a thriving company. Now, it's a gorgeous day out here in Cape Town, and I'm meeting up with him and his family as they finish their hike. The Ramlals enjoy something a bit more challenging than a stroll around the block, and they tackle their walks with a sure-footedness that comes from experience. Hello, what a spectacular day to be doing this. Absolutely, it makes it all worth it to come out here, connect with, you know, watch the ocean, uh, you know, walk on the mountain, get the fresh air. Having lived in Durban as well as Johannesburg, how is life like here in Cape Town? Yeah, growing up it was great. We lived alongside the sea, the ocean, did a lot of swimming and then we missed all of that in Joburg and it was a lovely excuse to found you know, our business and brand in Cape Town. The kids love it, the lifestyle is amazing. It allows us the opportunity to go out on a family hike. Nazreen, I know you have to take the kids off to school, so I'll catch up with you later. Yes. Now, Ritin, how does your day typically unfold? My day usually starts at our central kitchen in Woodstock. A whole team of artisans working there, creating our freshly produced goods on a daily basis. I've got to change up quickly and I can meet you there. Good, I look forward to it. Ritain holds an honours degree in financial mathematics and held senior positions at investment banks before starting a new life as an entrepreneur. Business wear attire, you look great. Different from the morning. For most people, being in charge of their destiny is worth it. But were you truly prepared for all the risks and challenges that came with that? I don't think anyone's really and truly prepared, no matter how much you work on beforehand. There's things simply that the textbook doesn't teach you. So there's a lot of life lessons that you learn along the way. Mostly you learn about yourself. And you know, for Nazreen and I, it was a big discovery on what we're capable of in terms of individuals but it's certainly great to be plotting our own destiny as you describe it. With a high-flying corporate career, you decided to give that up and with that you gave up a steady paycheck. What was your motivation? I've been working in financial markets all my professional career and everything changed for Nazreen and I when she felt pregnant. You think about life totally different and we thought more and more about what do we want to leave behind for our kids and what purpose are we leading in life. I'm curious though, out of all the industries that you could have gone in, why coffee? Well, coffee is a massive industry. It's the second biggest traded commodity after oil. So from a business side, there's obviously a great attraction there. It also has a quite a key lifestyle element. We knew what was happening globally with coffee, where there was this whole third wave movement, as we call it, towards a more artisanal coffee culture that was certainly starting in South Africa as well. And we wanted to be part of that. Ritain, you've got your own coffee lab. That's part of the exciting phase of the project where we are importing the best coffee beans in the world. I'd love to see it. Absolutely, let's go and have a look, follow me. So this is your very cool coffee lab that you've created. Absolutely. Hello. What's important to remember when choosing a bean? Firstly, we set out to, one, disrupt the coffee community by giving consumers a great tasting cuppa. What we find is, to produce a perfect cup of coffee, it is as much a labor of love as it is a perfect science. And it starts with actually selecting coffee beans. The best coffee beans in the world all grow along the equator belt, so we import the coffee beans from there. As a brand, we've developed four fantastic coffee blends, and they use only specialty grade 100% Arabica beans. This is typically what we would bring into the country and this is what a green bean looks like well before it's roasted. The next step is to actually go and extract the flavor out of these. This is typically what a roasted coffee bean would look like and if you smell this you really get some of the beautiful aromas coming through. Mm. So it's very important to us to pay homage to the true journey of coffee and that goes well beyond selecting just the best beans in the world. So we would make sure we ethically source our beans and what we find generally is that the coffee farmer is the poorest in the whole supply chain of coffee. So you know by us bringing Q graded coffees we're making sure that more money is channeled to the actual farmers and us as a brand it's also cool that we can show you a picture of the farmer if you want a Skype call Michelle. 
I'll arrange one over a cup of coffee. <laughs> Absolutely. What's caught my eye is that amazing machine. What does it do? So this is actually called a siphon and this is a vacuum brewing method of coffee. So what happens is the water boils from the bottom up to the top chamber. We add our ground coffee, we stir it in and then that actually creates a vacuum once we remove it from the heat and you have a perfectly brewed cup of coffee. So everybody actually has their own coffee ritual. It's become a lifestyle choice rather than this daily routine, which is why we've created a uh, you know, fantastic cafe, uh, which we're going to visit now at Clermont and uh, experience how coffee should be tasted. Fantastic, I'd love to see the store. Having had some of the secrets of coffee making revealed by Riden, Michelle was keen to see Nazreen and her team prepare the finished product and interface with their customers. As a graduate with a human resources management background, Nazreen had to learn the hospitality business more or less from scratch. But she's gathered all the knowledge and experience required to make a success of their joint venture. The business hums with quiet efficiency and attention to detail, delivering a quality cafe experience. Lucian, that looks perfect. I love the feet. Thank you, Lucian. This place is absolutely spectacular. Thank you very much. We've gone through great effort here to create an experience that's very different. The business and brand has grown from focusing on just coffee to adding other experiential elements like the beautiful patisseries you saw being made at Woodstock to offering our own cold brew craft beverages. All of these are preservatively and sugar-free. Retain regardless of the amount of tests you do or research, you can never really judge how successful your brand or product will be. Why do you believe you've succeeded where others have failed? You've got to do as much research as you can before launching a product. But at the end of the day, it's about knowing where you position, why you position and why you're unique and having the guts to stick to that. What can we do to encourage young entrepreneurs to start and grow their own business? Now, I find most entrepreneurs go through the same journeys, challenges, difficulties. And the most difficult thing as I've experienced is taking the first step. So back yourself, dream big and try to change the world. While you are here, you must try our delicious cheesecake. That looks really tasty, thank you. But before you go, what's it like working with your husband? We enjoy what we do. We have the same vision, which is to create a legacy lifestyle brand. And we are very grateful for the journey thus far. Having achieved so much already, where do you see yourself in the next five years? The vision for the brand is to be the most sought after or desired coffee and lifestyle brand nationally and internationally. Well, thank you so much for your time. It's been such a pleasure. Absolute pleasure. Transitioning from the banking sector to the hospitality industry is no easy feat. But with a burning desire to create a premium brand, Return has succeeded not only for himself, but for all those around him.